guess what I got in the mail today? I'll show you in about, whoa, maybe a minute right after this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I want to thank and give much gratitude to Ron Kruger, uh, Patreon, and also a new patron, Dusty Ling. Now, let's look in that mailbox. Okay, here we go. Can y'all see that name? Melody Lane. Yes, yes, yes. Let's open it together. Notice there's another package down here, too. I think I have too much light on the subject, though. Maybe because I don't have my other light on. But that's okay. We'll make it through this. Oh, we got to have some more light. This is important. Let's get these lights going. Here we go. I see Melody Lane signature, June 2019. Okay, here we go. Look, I've got a Melody pen and a Melody Lane pen. In the next three months, I'm going to be able to help choose as a patron which one we're going to get next. It'll either be a uh, thank you for being a part of my community. You inspire me to stay busy. Cute little bumblebee. I love sharing projects with you. Because of you, I have attitude gratitude. Aren't these adorable? I'm so glad she's done this. Now, these are really nice pens, too. Melody makes me smile, so I am really very thankful for these and the opportunity to get them. You can get them, too, six more days by becoming a patron of Melody's. When you go on there and check out Hunter's Habits, also go to Melody Lane if you're not already, which you probably are. That's probably where you heard of me. And you need to be at least a $15 patron. If you're a $5 patron, all you got to do to get these first two pins, you've only got six days left. And uh, if you're like a $5 patron, you would be paying the $10 difference to get these first two pins. And then I think she's going to do it every quarter. So one of these others would be next. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, where am I going to put them? Right now, let's just set them over here. I want to put them somewhere where I can see them every day because Melody's the reason I started. She inspires me daily. Okay, can anybody see where this is from? It says it has a diamond painting in it. Let's open it up. Yep, you guessed it. It's a diamond painting. There 
there's the painting. I'm kind of scared to just pour it out because I don't want all the diamonds to go everywhere. There they are. Let's see now. Okay. That's the package. And here's everything that I'm supposed to need for this. Now, let's do something. I've got a terrible glare. I'm so sorry. That's better, isn't it? Okay. Let's put this on here. Because this is the tray. I got it from Ikea. It's just a, a serving tray. I've had it for years, and I thought, well, while I'm doing that, instead of taking up table room, I can put it on that tray and move it where I, where I go. Okay. Trash. Oh, gosh, I don't want to bust these open. I'm going to put a link down below where you can get these. No, I don't have a special discount and I will not make anything from the sale. And if you want to try yours, and actually I think if you go over to Ken Creations, you can get a discount code over on his page. I don't know if Melody has one or not. Okay. Do I need to keep this bag? Probably not. Okay. Here's all my colors. They've got a little tray thing that you can buy. But I think I'm going to try to just start out like this. Okay. It's a tray that separates out all your colors. My lighting's just all messed up. There we go. Maybe that's better. Okay, here's the tools. What does this one do? Oh, that's the tweezers. And they are sharp. Be careful, guys, when you get that one. And this, I believe, is how you pick it up. I'll have to read instructions. And here we go with some wax. I believe that's what this is. That's the wax that holds it in there. And then I think this is to organize your diamonds. Oh, this is the thing that presses the diamonds down in there. I think it goes on one of these ends. You've got a short one and a longer one. And when you get the diamonds into your cloth, the painting, you press them down to secure them. That's what that's for. Don't want to lose that. Then we got the tray to put the colors in. I'm going to try to make that just what I need. And then instructions. Okay, unpack and flatten your canvas. Okay, so that's something that might take a day or two to flatten unless I tape it down. Okay, there's some tape on it right there. Can y'all see that tape? This tray has enough edge too, if you notice. Then I don't think I'll spill any. Oh, they won't roll off the edge or anything like that. But it looks like I'm going to have to take some scissors and cut this. I don't want to cut the wrong thing. Looks like that's already been cut. Ooh, I hope my painting's okay. Yeah, it is. It is. I think. Okay. Here we go. Flatten it out, it says. 
still going to have to take that tape off. What can I use this styrofoam for? Or foam? I'm sure I'll find something. Yes, I keep everything just about. It's a, it's a bad habit. But for our teachers, we needed to do it. With our budgets, I was very grateful I had a good budget, I think. Okay, and I'm going to have to get a magnifying glass out to read these colors before I can start anything. They have codes and designs. Oh, I may have to get the magnifying sheet out. Oh, and that's sticky. I was wondering how it was going to stay on there. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my... Well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to work on it some, and then I'll make another video. Show you how easy it is. Or how hard it is. <laughs> Maybe how addicting it is. And then we will... I'll let you see if you can see what the pattern is. Yeah, that light's not helping at all right now. Okay. And I think it goes this way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a new adventure. I think I'm going to start it this way though, guys. And I may even take some tape and tape it down. And then when I'm not using it, I'm going to place this back on it. So that that sticky doesn't get nasty. Okay. Let's see. We enrolled our canvas and I'm going to secure it, I think. If there are creases, don't worry, they'll vanish. It says try flatten out your canvas by placing heavy books on top. Okay, that's an idea. I've got heavy books. But they want it to be flat. So, okay, I'll put a heavy book on, on it and get it flat. It feels like a plastic that this is printed on. Okay, and then it says prepare your tools and diamonds. Open a bag of the diamonds and pour them into the groove tray. That's this tray right here. Then peel back the film of the red pad and place your diamond pin and stab the wax pad to get a tiny bit of wax on the tip. Then, okay, that's, that's a funny looking tip. Okay, then you get, you want only a small amount, it says. And then you use the diamond pin to pick up the diamond that's going to be in the tray. Okay? How easy is that? And then you'll place it on the canvas where it's supposed to be. I think what I'm going to have to do is scan this and make it larger so I can see it and read it better instead of having to get out a magnifying glass each time. Yeah, I think I'll scan that and make it larger. What do y'all think? that be an idea? Okay, that is, if you need help, they've got support at paintingswithdiamonds.com. And I will put that, once my video loads, I will put that link in the bottom. Okay, guys? Well, it seems fairly simple. So, happy mail. Thank you, Melody. You made my day, and I appreciate all you do for us. Have a great day, guys, and remember, 
Detours still lead to your destiny.